Hi, Crafty Angels, and that's here <clears throat> from Andrew Rose Designs here on YouTube. Sorry about that. Um, I'm here today with a first impressions of some eyeshadow and lippies from Spoiled Cosmetics. And I've ordered from them before, but this is like the monthly, uh, bi monthly, I'm sorry, bi monthly. Um, kit that they have, okay, it's where all the people that are in the bi-monthly club get the newest palette and lippies or whatever new that comes out before the regular, cust the rest of the customers do. Okay, so I have three lippies here. And this one is crab apple. This one's almond. And this one is heat. I will show you these after I show you this. So I love the packaging here. And they do send all of their palettes in bubble wrap bags. So I will save that. And the box has a list of I think it's all of the eyeshadows in here and a list of the ingredients here. And they do this is vegan. So that's a plus on that one. This is cruelty free. And the shelf life is 24 months. And it is made out of recycled packaging. So, let's open this. Oh, my goodness. Now, as you can see, the palette on the box is the same as it looks here. Okay, so we're going to move the box out of the way so we can get into this puppy. Now, I had seen a video where she did a preview of it. Now, the mirror is right here, as you can see here. And it, it, it's not attached, as you can see. It does come apart and it's magnetic. Okay. Now, look at this shimmer, these shimmers. You know, if I can get it the right way, right there. This is a white. And I'm going to see, maybe they're the names. Okay, I think this is Moonlight. A dash of... Uh, spider eggs. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. They only have the names of the glitter ones on here. So Moonlight, A Dash of Spider Eggs, Eye of Newit, One Batwing, and thumb of troll. And you notice how she has the lips on all the other shadows that are matte. So, you know, and also on the back, it has raised um, lettering and the name of the shimmers are on the back of this package also. So for me, my first impression, and they all come with this um, covering for the shadows. So you can cover it all back up. And as you can see, it's magnetic. It won't fall. Well, it will if you shake it too much, but it does stick on here with magnets. And I like that because... When I'm using a palette, I like to be able to have this part here off so it's easier for me to use the mirror and I have all the, the palette here. Okay, now let's do, let's put this back in the box and move this out of the way. So, this is this. Now we're going to do the lippies. 
Now I have three lippies and this is her new packaging. So I can't do a comparison. Maybe I can. Yes, here's the old packaging and here's the new one. The new one has a little window so you can see what color is in it. As you can see, this one doesn't. And all her products come with the little bar thing here. And I'm also going to compare the old way of the tube to the new way. This is the old way, the old tube. And I'm going to show you up the new one. Okay. I might have to put in a suggestion that she puts a little thumb piece over here to where it's easy to open for us. And here's the new shape bottle with the, you can tell the difference here. This one's a little bigger. Now to compare the lip, um, ah, I can't think the lip applicator to this one as you can see this one seems a little bigger let's see let's look at that again yes i think so and this one seems to have hair on it and i don't know how okay let's see yeah this applicator is a little bit bigger than the old one and the opening here is bigger. See how small this opening is? So this one's a little bit bigger and I like that. So we're gonna put this one away and you can get all of this on Spoiled Lips uh, website. I will link it down below and I can't get this one. Oh, that's the wrong box. That's why I can't get it back in. You can see the box, this box is a little bit shorter also because the tube is a little bit shorter. Okay, so let me swatch these. I'm going to swatch it on my finger. And they're nice and smooth. And they will last all day. Okay. All day wear. It's almost like a silky type um, lippy. So let's get uh, crab apple, which is a metallic. And this one's a matte. Ooh, well, look at that, how pretty. I like that. Nice and juicy. So, I don't know the shelf life on the lippies. Go to spoillips.com. I will link it down below in the comment section of this video. And here is almond. So we already have heat, crab apple, and now we're going for almond. I'm going to wipe a little off and put it up here. Oh, now that one I like. So, these are the three lippies. I will take photos of them. And the palette. The palette's bigger than my screen, I can tell you all that much. <laughs> Way bigger than my screen. Sorry for the glare on the box, but that's all I can do. So, y'all seen... All three lippies, how they look. And, you know, the packaging. I like the new, the newer tubes on here. Apparently, must have got some of the lippy on the box, but that's okay. 
Um, so this one here is the same formula, but just look. They're really, really creamy. So um I like that. And they last all day. My granddaughter's been playing with my lippies, so you can see the old packaging compared to the new packaging. The new one's a little bit smaller, so it'd be you can put it in your makeup bag and stuff like that. She has makeup bags, I think, on the website, and now she has Spoil Lips merch, which is hoodies and tank tops and stuff like that. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of when I upload new content, when I do a premiere, or when I go live. So, I will say this. Thank you all for watching. Um, happy crafting. Please be blessed. Be kind. Be caring. And I will see you all in the next video and on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.